Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Feedback Sports Range Click Torque Wrench. Feedback Sports has listened to customer feedback, incorporated updated materials and designs to develop the new Range Click Torque Wrench. This is an improved version of the popular Range Click style torque wrench. It offers better feel, ergonomics, and a wider torque range. In terms of packaging, you can see really simple. Feedback Sport has a great sustainable model, so this is actually 80% recycled material. You have graphics printed directly on there. Nice illustration of the torque wrench. Everything that's included and some illustrations of how to use it. I'll go ahead and open this box. We'll go over the specs. Retail price on this is $120. So as a lot of feedback sport products, it's more premium. With this updated torque wrench, you have a two to 14 newton meter range, which covers a really large amount of work on your bike. It also has a dual direction torque wrench, which means you can torque for right-handed bolts, which is really common, as well as left-handed bolts, so you can rotate the other way and also get the correct torque. It has a TPU fold-up case, which is really nice. You can see it's branded with the Feedback Sports. It keeps all the accessories in place with little elastic hoops. It makes it easier to travel or store the tools without losing anything. Feedback Sports includes 13 S2 steel tool bits, so you can see you have a tray of 10 and three extended ones. You have everything from two to eight millimeter hex, as well as a T10, T25, and T30 Torx. These are 50 millimeter extensions. So this is a four, a five, and a T25 Torx, which lets you access harder to reach bolts. You can see it in terms of what comes with it, as you get the torque wrench. It's a really nicely made it's anodized steel, so it looks really cool. You have the bit holder, this full case and the extender bits all in one place. So really nice design overall. Now let's take a look at the weight of the torque wrench. So everything together along with the case that comes into 282 grams. And then just out of curiosity, the torque wrench itself, if we open up the case, pretty compact, but it is an aluminum design. So it comes to 147. Visually, the Feedback Sports Click Torque Range matches the brand's iconic design with an anodized red body. A lot of premium details that match the premium price point. It's a beautiful torque wrench with this aluminum body, dial, and head. And because Feedback Sports is committed to sustainability, they've really avoided plastic or non-serviceable parts on here. So even the box is recycled, the case doesn't have any harmful plastics in it, and the whole thing is designed to be serviceable. So. This is something you can actually get spare parts for if needed. Although this approach costs a little bit more, it's a welcome change from a lot of disposable bike tools with questionable accuracy claims. On the bottom of the torque wrench, you have the neural dial, which lets you adjust the current torque setting. The main body is this beautiful anodized finish that you can see nice and shiny with the Feedback Sports branding on there. Then a dual-sided gauge, so you can see your noon meter on both sides. It's designed to work with People are either left-handed or right-handed, so you can easily use on both sides as you have the gauge on both sides. You also have a click-type torque wrench, so this top thing has a little bit of elastomer in it. When you hit the right torque setting, this whole thing will click in place. You can see it's an aluminum head and a really nice ratchet. You can hear the nice click with really nice precision. So you can see I don't rotate it much before it engages. It also has a reversible head with this dial and what's really cool about this is a dual direction torque wrench. So you can do it for right-handed or left-handed bolts and you can hit the right torque setting. Most torque wrenches are usually one direction, but with this one you get both, which is nice. It's only 5.6 inches or 144 millimeters long. So you can see pretty small. It's something you could put in your jersey pocket, but it's more useful inside a workshop or to travel with as it's quite compact. The other cool feature about this is you get this nice case. So you can see it's a fold-up design, TPU material, which is water resistant, has the feedback sports right on there, and then two buttons. It looks a lot like a cell phone or a sunglass case, as you can see, really compact. And then it has these two folding flaps on the inside with Velcro. And then you can see if I slide the tool back in here, elastic hoops to hold everything in place. It's not quite as convenient as the plastic cases, but with this one, it's really compact. And again, you avoid the plastics that you don't really need. You can see all the bits are held in place. You have a bit holder and then the three extension bits in their own dedicated elastic hoops. When you're done with it, you can see it folded up. 
and then wrap this around, align the buttons. And then you can see super compact, so great for traveling with and doesn't take up really much space. Now if you go back to the torque wrench, you can see the bottom dial, it's all aluminum. There's no markings on here, but there is a distinct click. So when I rotate it, it has a distinct click that's apparently 0.17 newton meters. Kind of a strange increment, but does let you kind of fine tune it. You only have the whole increments on the gauge. One side you have the odd numbers, on the other you have the whole numbers. It is a very short gauge though. We would have liked this to be about double the height. So you can see it's kind of hard if you're really going for five and a half. You sort of have to look on one side to get to five, come back, look at where you are relative to six, do one or two clicks, check back here. It's a little bit of estimation if you're trying to do increments, but it is fairly easy to read. You have the aluminum indicator here, the shiny bit. That is a little bit confusing though at the first time you look at this because you do have what almost look like uh, ball bearings on the above it, which could be confused as the indicator. But once you use it, you can see nice bright aluminum there, which indicates where you're at. And kind of use both sides to guess where you're at if you're looking for incremental values. All of these numbers also are painted on here in white and they also feel engraved, which is really nice. So they shouldn't rub off or anything with use. And you can see again, the aluminum design, the anodized aluminum looks really nice. You do get fingerprints and stuff on it as you use it, but should hold up to use if the other Feedback Sports products are any indicator. For the ratcheting head, you can hear really nice ratchet. Great precision, so you can see I don't rotate it much before it engages, so let's get in those tight corners and really tighten things up. It's really nice to have a ratchet versus just a standard kind of wrench because you can really get in there and do these quick movements. As far as the tool bits, you can see you have 13 total tools. You have a nice tool holder, a little plastic holder. And what I like about this is that it actually holds it in place with this nice little click as it has a little groove on there, but it's still easy to take on and off. So unlike a lot of bit holders, which require you to push through with another bit to actually get it off, this one comes out easy, but then sort of locks into place and you can see it doesn't really fall out. You have a T30, T25, T10 Torx, which covers a lot of the Torx bits. Then you have two, two and a half, three, four, five, six, and eight hex bits. So yeah, pretty much everything you need. If we throw this on the actual wrench, you can see pretty short design. So you do want to uh, put in the correct way. You can see it is fairly short. So if you're trying to access something in tighter areas, the body of this is short. You might not be able to reach it, which is why they actually included these extension bits. So you can see, you can pull that out, put the extension on there. And now if you have a hidden bolt, say for your C post, you can get in there as it has a long body. And that give you a little bit more leverage without requiring a separate extension bit. So kind of a cool idea and it gives it a little bit more versatility. Now let's take a look at the torque wrench in action. As you can see, we're using the extended bit to access the seat bolt, and that's actually recessed inward. So it's really nice to have that extended option. And you have all the standard sizes for the three extended bits. The torque wrench also works really well. The ratchet is nice and quick. So you have quick action to get in those tight corners and a nice satisfying click every time it ratchets. It also is dual direction, which is really nice. So when you're undoing the bolt, you're not gonna damage the torque wrench and when you tighten it you can make sure you still hit that same torque setting so very easy to use so once you want to tighten it up you can see we just tighten it again without really having to mess with anything we do wish the torque range indicator was a little bit more easy to understand it would have been nice if they had a wider range it's just very compact and it's hard to do with these incremental ones like the 6.2 you can see here we're tightening it up and again that extended range really works really well and when you hit the final torque setting you have a very satisfying click, so it's very hard to miss. And even though it's only six noon meters here, you can see it's pretty strong reaction. So it's very obvious once you've hit that. You can see the same thing on the stem bolts. And with the bike components, you always have to be really careful. Six noon meters doesn't sound like much, but it's very easy to over torque that. So that's why you really want to use a torque wrench when you're using any carbon fibers pieces or sensitive components. When you're done with the operation, you have this really nice case. So I like the fabric case construction. You have these nice fabric loops, so you just slide them in there. It organizes everything. There isn't any markers on where what goes where, but it's very obvious. 
the extended bits go in one part, torque wrench goes in the other. The buttons also work well, you don't have Velcro on the outside, so it's a little bit more durable. And once you line it up properly, you can see it just clicks into place and you're all done. We actually have the Feedback Sports Reflex. This is a fixed torque ratchet. So kind of a cool design, you have a five newton meter bit and you can see similar red anodization that kind of brings everything together. And this one has T-handle or an adjustable kind of L-shaped design. So you can really mix and match to get what you need, but a lot more compact. And again, it's very limited in the torque range. You just have the one pre-calibrated bit. It's a lot more compact though, so you can see very easy to travel with, but definitely has a different purpose. We also have the Pro Bike Tool T-Handle Torque Wrench. This does four, five, and six. It has a really cool cradle design. And you can see they mimic the red anodization. So you can see you have multiple bits here, torque and the hex, but again, limited to four to six. Pro Bike Tool also has torque wrench kits. They have this nice plastic case, obviously less sustainable and quite a bit larger, but it's a pretty nice piece. You can throw it into your garage and it looks great. A much bigger click style torque wrench and you can see you have a nice knurled handle. It's a lot bigger in size and this does up to 20 newton meters and you can see the gauge here, a little bit harder to read, but it goes all the way up to 20 and you have the increments printed here, which I like more. So you can see I can adjust this and I actually have a much better guess of what I'm doing rather than having to kind of guess where I am in between. So this one actually indicates what it's doing. It is a one-sided one though, as a lot of them are. So it's more designed for a right-handed person, but same reversible design and a little bit releaser here rather than just being a magnetic design. But again, much bigger. So you can see you have an extension, larger bits here. So less portable. Topeak also has a lot of cool products like the Torque Stick. So you can see this is their super compact one, two to 10. It is a similar click style torque wrench, a little bit smaller. You can see the knurling on the bottom. And then the gauge here I like a little bit better because you have the light yellow indicator. It's less uh, inconsistent with this one. It's kind of this aluminum with metal above and below it, but this one's very obvious. You can see it's one-sided as well. So it's kind of cool that it's dual-sided. And the anodization also looks better on this one. I believe the torque stick is only a one-direction torque wrench as well. You can see it does have a quick activation, but just doesn't feel as nice as this anodized one. Topic also sells the Torque Stick Pro, which gives you a full toolkit. I believe it's around $200, so bit more expensive than this, but you get a lot more options. More plastic here, but looks nice. You get the little extension, a little thumb handle, which is really cool. And you can see a bigger torque wrench that'll go up to 20 newton meters versus just the 14. But again, quite a bit bigger. So Feedback Sports has really made it compact and give you some additional features. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Feedback Sports range click torque wrench. What we like about it is you have premium quality, you have a nice red anodized finish and knurled details on the handle. You also have a really nice TPU case, so it keeps everything organized, very compact because it's fabric, it'll make sure everything's clean. It's also nice that Feedback Sport included the extended bits, so it really helps reaching those recessed bolts and accessing otherwise really hard to access bolts. The main negatives with this torque wrench is the fact that it's expensive, it costs more than the equivalent park tool, but you do get the additional bits and the more premium quality. Also, the torque setting indicator is very compact and can be a little confusing as you have those little metal balls in front of it, which are very easy to misinterpret as the initial torque setting. So it would have been nice if they extended it and made it a little more bright where the actual indicator is. Taking everything into account would give the torque wrench a 8.8 .8 out of 10. Nice premium and compact 2 to 14 noon meter torque wrench. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com as well as follow us on Instagram at The Sweet Cyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.